boy DJ T Stomp, and today we got a new popping beef in rap music. I'm sure you've probably seen it, the headlines all over the place. We have academics versus Brandon Buckingham. You know, it's two YouTubers, and they've been going back and forth recently about the whole YBC duel situation. I'm gonna give you guys a cliff notes of what happened and who I think is in the right and you know who I think was in the wrong. Before I go ahead and do that, just do me a favor, hit that like button hit the subscribe button there's plenty of good content going on this channel and funny enough i was actually in the process of editing a video about academics but um we'll probably go up tomorrow because i need to get this thing out asap uh regardless let's go ahead and uh get into it right so the whole issue between brandon buckingham and academics stems from the whole ybc dual situation right YBC Duel is a Philadelphia drill rapper. You know, every city, every city nowadays has a drill scene and Philadelphia is no exception to that. And YBC Duel kind of made us come up from putting out pretty gangsta music and he went on no jumper and he was just talking about how, you know, really, really reckless things, you know, digging up his ops graves, things like that, just going to the next level. And if you know anything about modern day drill rap, what drill rap has kind of dissolved into is rappers doing anything to take something to the extreme right you know it used to be you know i'll shoot you i'll do this i'll do that now it just gets more and more menacing and i don't see it stopping anytime soon you know ybc duel was talking about you know literally digging up his ops grave i'm not mistaken he did it in a music video or something but he was talking about doing that on no jumper right he gets the world's attention talking recklessly like this right and Brandon Buckingham does a vlog with him. Now, I don't know if you know who Brandon Buckingham is, but he's like basically one of these hipster vloggers. Um, you know, doesn't really have much of a hip hop look to him. And he just kind of goes to the hood, walks around, vlogs it, tries to show off what life is like, things of that nature. Only he did it with YBC Duel. Um, and YBC Duel, you know, died shortly after. Now, Brandon Buckingham has nothing to do with his death happening you know what i mean he's not to blame for that at all and i don't think anybody's thrown that in the air it was just kind of a coincidence thing and when that happens they're gonna look at the last piece of media that person did it was brandon buckingham raised a lot of conversation right so academics called brandon buckingham out and he said what brandon buckingham did did is voyeuristic right now voyeuristic means deriving or relating to the enjoyment from seeing the pain or distress of others right whether or not it was voyeuristic we'll see right but academics ultimately compares it to vice now i don't know if you guys remember i'm sure a lot of you guys are maybe a little bit too young to be honest vice did something similar to brandon buckingham back in like 2014 right back in 2014 when the original chicago drill movement was coming up you know when it was like chief keith Jerbo, lil dirk uh larice you know vice used to have this hipster white guy this absolute nerd he would kind of go to the hood and he would hang with them and whatnot right and well brandon buckingham is kind of like that granted i'm gonna be honest i don't remember what the reception was to vice's vlogs back in the day i don't really remember if anybody complained about them but academics is comparing them to them right you know ultimately yeah academics just says brandon buckingham seems vulturish and the biggest problem with brandon buckingham is kind of the tone of it and I, I agree man he makes what they do seem cool right and everybody's quick to bring up trap Lor ross comparisons well trap well ross ross makes uh documentaries in the hood trap Lor ross does this trap Lor ross does that you know when i watch trap Lor ross he does he really does not glorify the violence at all um trap Lor ross is, tries to make his content a lesson learned and trap Lord ross's content has a very 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 dark undertone that people don't really get from brandon buckingham right and lastly academics feels that most of brandon buckingham's viewers yes he goes around and he shows the hood he you know he does all these things but most of these people aren't hip-hop right it doesn't do much for the artist right yeah, the artist might be going on Brandon Buckingham's channel for promo, but academics feels like, yo, it's such a small percentage of people that actually watch your video and actually check out, you know, Duel's music, you know? Yes, Duel talks crazy, but it's Duel's music that actually, you know, puts money in his pocket. It's Duel's music that gets him these shows, that get him these streams, etc. Now, Buckingham responded to academics 
and he basically he didn't have much of a, a response i'm gonna I, i'm just keeping it a buck he said academics is a loser behind the computer screen and he said he's really in the field academics once again sits behind the computer and talks about rap and he can't complain because academics started the war in chirac which was probably the most raunchy grimy channel of all of this right now the war in chirac thing uh if you've been paying attention to hip-hop or pay attention to academics the war in chirac is the number one thing that's brought up against ra- academics right and i could agree it was a little grimy and a lot of the stuff he said on the channel was a little uncalled for if you're not familiar with the war on chirac once again back to the original chicago drill m- movement academics used to report on that on the war on chirac channel you know and he would just cover the news of exclusively chicago artists so uh fredo um chief keith lil reese Gierbo, etc and the way he did it once again was a little bit grimy you know academics has changed a lot but we would see these guys do street stuff you know negative stuff that was just going to end them up in jail and academics for, bluntly would shit on it and he would give them nicknames right he used to call lil reese the grim reaper Granted, Lil Reese did embrace that nickname. I think he was calling mixtapes that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how, how academics did it. And the consensus of everybody that looks back at that channel, they agree it was it was uncalled for, right? Not saying that he shouldn't report over, on any of them, but the way he was doing it that at times was a little, uh, but you do have to kind of have some grace because academics was young and trying to get on. And Buckingham really can't bring up the Warren Chirac thing because Buckingham's content is already bigger than the Warren Chirac was, or it's in route to be bigger than the Warren Chirac was. The Warren Chirac was not doing million view videos and whatnot. And on top of that, I don't think Academics was really bringing in money on the Warren Chirac. I'm not sure if he's ever talked about it. If I ever met Ak, I would ask him. But you have to realize, you know, the Warren Chirac, it was very violent content. You know, YouTube was a different place. You know, monetization was a different thing. And there were guns all over the thumbnails. You know, the content was not PG. So I'm sure the ad rates in the CPM for that, especially back then, back in 2014, the ad rates in the CPM for that content, I'm sure was extremely low. Even if Act was doing views, I'm sure money wise, it just was not moving the needle. So how do I feel? I see where academics is coming from because you got to look at it from the outside. You have this white guy who I'm not sure what Brandon Buckingham's lore is, but he does come off as a culture vulture, right? And just because you're white, that doesn't make you a culture vulture, right? Hip hop, if you couldn't tell, hip hop does not like culture vultures. Basically what a culture vulture is, is somebody who is coming into rap music just to make their personal gain and they don't really have any love for it, right? If you're somebody who you grew up loving rap music, you just love the music, you wanna be involved, you wanna push the culture forward, that's fantastic. What you're doing, you're not being a culture vulture, right? But it would kind of be like, let's pretend you were a skater, right? And you were making skateboard vlogs and whatnot. And maybe skateboarding, you know, maybe your career kind of stagnated. And then you realize like, oh, I can do content with a bunch of rappers, even though I don't really like rap, but I could use rap music to to bump my skate brand up but and then the moment i get my brand where i want to i just kind of make an exit out of rap music and you know i basically sucked out the clap clout from it but you know i didn't really love it that's kind of what the idea of a vulture would be right and i don't really know if brandon buckingham's a vulture i mean he seems like he he likes rap music and whatnot i i don't think i don't i, I don't i don't want to put that on him because i just don't have reason i, I don't have you know, conclusive evidence to say he's a culture vulture. You get what I'm saying? And I do think he, it is a little murky water because he does kind of make that content seem cool, to be honest, right? He, he you know, he doesn't, he, we see him laugh throughout the video. You know, he, he's not really criticizing. He doesn't give too much pushback. He makes it seem like it's this cool thing, right? But one thing academics and a lot of people don't really acknowledge is YBC Duel, you know, when he was alive and not, let's not even speaking on him, let's speak on a lot of these drill rappers and rappers, right? They go out of a way, out of their way to try to make this stuff seem cool and believable, right? 
they want their listeners to believe what they think is cool, right? They want you to believe they're doing what they're doing. They go to extreme lengths to make you believe what they're doing. Yes, violence and rap music has always been around, but it was very different, right? First off, you know, in the mid 2000s, like Gucci was talking reckless, TI was talking reckless, Jeezy was talking reckless, Scooter was reckless, Juice Man was reckless. You know, I could start listing off all those rappers, but it wasn't the same. It almost felt like there was a limit. And as a listener, you always knew like, hey, this is entertainment, right? You know, these rappers, they go out their way to make sure it's not entertainment. So the thing is, it's like what Brandon Buckingham does is what a lot of these rappers really, really want for him to do, right? So I think the issue is a lot deeper than Brandon Buckingham. But I think that wraps it up for this video. Um, it's been your boy DJ T Stomp. I think I covered all the points here. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm out. Peace.